just like a food pyramid, there is also a business pyramid in Corporate Entities and Oddities by Amacom. The game came out in 1984 and it is a game about business trivia, as it says. Um, there are 10 different categories. Nine of them you have to select from by rolling off that board I have down over there. You uh, roll a d6, you go across the board, you have to answer a specific trivia question. The cool thing about this is that there are four different books that um, each have different questions in different categories, and each player picks a book. And uh, when you roll, uh, you go to the next player in line and you have to answer questions from the book and they get to pick a random question from that category. Uh, you have um, different, ca uh, you have nine categories that you get to choose from right away and then you have a tenth category that is only used for going up a specific, uh, like once you reach the promotion ladder you're stuck there until you answer one of the questions from that the tenth category but the rest of them uh, you have to go from you know whatever category that you pick up from. There's uh, finance, banking, and investments. There's uh, business people in literature, such as uh, Flahui. Um, uh, like uh, they're 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 references to things that happened uh, in popular culture that are have to do with businesses. Uh, and for that, like for that answer, it was the title of a musical in the, uh, let's see here, in a, oh, in a Broadway musical satire. So, you know, fa famous, uh, like business related stuff, uh, business history and labor, which are things that have to do with like, uh, famous people like JP Morgan or, uh, like, um, like just even like very famous cities like Hong Kong. Um, slogans and trademarks, that's my favorite category out of this game because you get to hear about like some just just off the wall stuff. <laughs> um, things like that have to do with like, oh, here's a company that is no longer around, but they had like this really popular like, you know, uh, advertisement uh, that they did where like this was their slogan, you know. Um, and uh, like you know crimes uh huge like accidents uh media and words that one just has to do with like um like newspapers and such they have to do with uh, that odds and ends which is just um the really the really small things like uh like how the cracker jack came to be you know things like that you have to you have to guess that that kind of stuff and then Pink Slip, which is the um, one about um, about specific like like wages and, um, and and things like that. And then of course people. That was the, uh, which is just you know really famous people um, that that are related to business. Those are the nine categories, and the tenth category is promotion, which is things that have to deal with. Um, people higher up on the food chain and also very um, very specific types of uh, questions in general uh, re relating to promotions and there you go there's a total of 5,000 questions across the four colored books and now you know how it works it's I've seen it brand new for like 30 bucks because it's a game about business trivia <laughs> I mean, the only kind of people who care about these things are me, because I, I I like these things. Because like uh, I was uh, playing with uh, with family before, and uh, one of the things that they did was um, what company was uh, famous for the line uh, if um, you if you get it like if you don't get it on time, it's on us. And it was the Flying Tiger Company, which they're no longer around. I, I didn't even know they existed, that kind of stuff. So, 
they're really neat for like if you were to be the kind of person who would buy a book of just random like business related information so that way you'd be like oh yeah that that's cool information to know you know that this is the kind of stuff for you uh like i said i i, I like i said i've seen it like brand new for 30 bucks so it's definitely not expensive even used it's just it's semi rare because not a lot of people have it but it's also not expensive because no one really cares for it so give it a shot go read it out you know it's it's another one of those games where you'll have a lot of fun just just guessing sometimes about uh, about general knowledge about it and that's why i recommend it it's good stuff see you next time